Hi Electro folks, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. I request everybody to subscribe the channel and keep supporting us. This is lecture series 1 Computer Networks dealing with data communication and physical structure of the network. What is data communication? Data is referred as information. Communication is referred as exchange of information or sharing of information. See here, visually you can see a hub, central hub, which is communicating to different devices. So how data communication is taking place here? See, you have a host one here at one end and host two at the other end. Now these two hosts has, has to communicate between each other. Now one message or information is sent from host 1 to host 2. So the information passing line is said to be transmission medium or it can be named as link. Now the information or the data from the host 1 is passed on or is it is shared to the host 2 at the other end. Now passing of these information should have four parameters that is delivery, accuracy, timeliness and jitter. What is delivery? The data delivered from host 1 to the host 2 must be delivered properly that all the data that is delivered from one end to the other end is received at correct position. Accuracy. Accuracy is nothing but the data, whatever data from this host we are sending to this host must be of 100% accuracy. There should be no missing of data in between the transmission medium. Next is timeliness. Timeliness is, say suppose I am telling that this particular message should be passed from host 1 to host 2 with 30 milliseconds. So within that 30 milliseconds, this message has to be passed on to the, the other end properly. That is known as timeliness. That is the time of the pockets received at the receiver end must be maintained continuously. Next last parameter is jitter. The word jitter means a delay. See, whenever we are sending a message from one host to other host, it is not that 100% accuracy, we cannot give that the data are passed on to the receiver end properly. Sometimes some error may occur. So because of that error, there may be a delay in the transmission medium to transmit the data from this host to the other host. So this jitter comes into as one parameter. Hope you have understood that. Next is the data flow. Transmission mode. Here, there are two kinds of transmission mode. One is simplex, another is duplex. Now, this duplex is further divided as half duplex and full duplex. What is simplex transmission mode? Here, you have an example with a main host and a monitor. I am considering this main host as a server and this monitor as a receiver end. So now in the simplex mode, the direction of data will be only through one direction that is from the server to the monitor, from the server to the receiver end. In simple way, you can tell that the simplex in simplex mode, the direction of data is unidirectional. Best real-time example that follows the simplex mode is one-way traffic road. Everybody would have noticed this symbol in a road. Say suppose you are traveling in a highway and entering into a city. All the roads in the city might not be so broad. So a shortened road will have this symbol telling that it is a one-way traffic road where only one side the vehicle can pass through from the other side the vehicles are not allowed to pass to the other end. This is the simplex mode. Next is half duplex mode. So you have one server at one end, another server at the other end. Now in half duplex mode what happens is 
the data from this end can be transferred to the this end and the data can can be transferred from this end to the other end but only thing is the transmission can be taken place from the both the sides but not at the same time say suppose the sender is sending a data here and the receiver is receiving the data here so at one particular time only this direction of data can be sent after sending this data now it is the time for the receiver to send the data to the sender now this direction of data is taking place at different time now the best real time example for this half duplex mode is discussion between the students and the teacher see when a teacher teaches a class teacher will start teaching the class only one way communication is taking place teacher is te teaching the class student is listening now when the teacher stops teaching the class now it is the student's turn to ask question to the teacher if they have any doubts now the teacher will listen to the students to clear the doubts and the students will be speaking to the teacher so only one reactions are taking place at one time next real time example is internet surfing we are sitting before the internet and surfing something first when we surf something and give enter then only the information is displayed from the other end so surfing when i am typing only i am transmitting the data to the server end when the server is giving me the data now the server is displaying me the data and i am not typing anything in the keyboard this is the example of half duplex mode next is full duplex mode the same server from one end that is the sender and the receiver i have taken as an example now in full duplex mode what happens is you can transmit a data or receive data on the either end simultaneously there is no particular defined time to send the data at the either of the end both the transmission and rece receiving the data can be done simultaneously best real time example that i can provide you is message application technologies nowadays we use messengers whatsapp instagrams for texting our friends right so when you are texting your friends at the same time you can send a message at the same time your friend also can send the message it is not that only after you send the message your friends are supposed to send your message simultaneously the chat happens between both of us so this is a small example of half duplex mode next is the physical structure of the network the physical structure of the network has two types one is point to point network and multi point network now what is point to point network see you have a server and a receiver connected through a link this link is nothing but it is it can be called as a transmission medium for sharing the data so now this link can either be wired link or wireless link and in point to point structure what happens is all the data that is sent from one side to the other side is very confidential data very very much considered as a private data that is it cannot be shared to anyone best example that i can give you is bank server see bank server when you are logging in into your net banking only you can log in into your account generate an otp and transaction can be done or you can generate an otp to see the available balance so how the communication takes place it is point to point that is it to be it is between you and the bank server nobody can visually see what balance is available in your account so this point to point network is actually very easy to design because it connects only one server and a one receiver so design is so easy and configuring configuring and set giving a setup for all these system is very simple next we will be seeing about multi point so point to point what we saw 
you have only single server and a single receiver now in multi point you have a single server with multiple receiver now when you have multiple receiver there will be a formation of nodes see here i have a node where in this node two set of computers that is two set of receivers are connected and from this another set of receiver is connected so in multi point there is a formation of different modes nodes where each node will be giving a rise to a receiver or the other end of the server now here also the link can be wired or wireless the best suitable example for this multi point is real time example is security camera can you link how it is see you will be fixing different cameras at different places and sitting at one place all these cameras can be noted in your monitor so all these receivers are connected to a single node say suppose this is a central hub all these receivers are connected to the central hub and now the central hub through the central hub the information is sent to the monitor where you can keep on verifying the data that is received so this is the physical structure of the network please do like subscribe comment and share the content thank you